Welcome everyone. In this short video tutorial we're going to create our first Python program. So to get started go to File and then open a new window. And I'm going to readjust the window size so it fits in my screencasting area. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is to put information at the top like you would an assignment for school. So we're going to do pound, which comments out the information and is only for the user and not the computer. So the computer code won't run. So we're going to just do file, name, and we're called introduction. Dot py and then go ahead and add your name and the class and this series of Python tutorials was for gifted learning links Python 1 class and also put the date Okay, so we're going to start with a print statement and we'll just say something simple like hello and welcome. And then to run our program, we just click run and run module. It'll then ask us to save the program. And I'm just going to save it to the desktop area where I create a folder called GLL Python Projects and in this folder I've created a screencasting where I'm going to save my files. You could um, save your files to a similar folder or um, name it by the week. So I'm going to call this introduction And don't forget to add the PY extension. And there it prints out what I wrote. Hello and welcome to Python. So now we'll add another print statement. So we'll also have the computer say, I hope you will enjoy learning to program. and we'll run it again and notice it prints out the two statements really really quickly so if we want to simulate a conversation between the user and the computer one we need to slow down the speed in which um, it prints out and we need to also have the computer ask the user some questions so what we'll do here is we'll import a library and to do that we'll just say import and the name of the library which is time. The time library has a number of different functions. The one we're looking for is time.sleep and this will slow down the computer. Um, we Inside the parentheses we add the number of seconds, in this case it's two now if I run the module again, it waits a little bit in between each sentence. Okay, so the next thing we need to do in order to s simulate a conversation is ask the user some questions. So and we will put their result into a variable. So let's say we're going to ask them for their name. So we'll make a variable called name and we'll assign it. Equal sign means that we're going to assign that variable a piece of information. And so we use... Hmm, hold on one second. 
Alright, so then we'll say raw input and we'll provide a prompt to the user and we'll say what is your name? And then we'll print out a statement and include their name in the statement. So we'll can say something like, um, nice to meet you. And then we can add the variable right here. And then we'll add a period at the end of the sentence. And again, we will slow it down by doing a calling the sleep method. Let's run it and see if it works. Hello, I hope you enjoy learning to program. What is your name? I'm going to enter Tom and it will say nice to meet you Tom. Okay, so let's ask another question. I'm going to say time.sleep and I'm going to say print. Now let's say I'm going to ask the user what their favorite color is. So here we'll make another variable called color and we'll set it equal to our raw input and we need a prompt. So I'll say what is your favorite color? And then we'll print out a message to the user. Um, let's add more to this and we'll say something like mine which referring to the computer is blue and we'll let's add all caps okay. and then we'll put in our time.sleep again and then we'll print out um, their answer and but we'll make it uppercase like the question so we'll say color which is our variable and then we'll call a method called upper which turns their answer into uppercase letters and I'll add a sentence to it so if they say their favorite color is green. Green goes into the variable color. Then now color has green in it. We're turning the word into all uppercase letters and printing the whole statement out. Green is a nice color. So let's go ahead and try this. And we get our welcome message and it asks for our name. and now it looks like the computer's talking to us. Nice to meet you Jack and I'm Jack's favorite color is green. I'll enter it all lowercase and now it says green is a nice color. So that is the end of um, this tutorial and we will finish this project in the part two. Thank you and I will see you next time.